Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor and I'm a Sony Imaging Ambassador and I'd like to take the opportunity to talk to you about Sony's firmware update 1.1 for the Sony Alpha 7 IV camera. Now in order to find this update just go to the Sony website, uh, click on support from that drop down menu should you you should find that in the top right hand corner and then just type in 7M4 and you should see the ILCE-7M4 which you need to click on. You'll then proceed to click on the download section in order to see the firmware update. Now this is the first time that we're not having to download either a Mac or a PC version because this firmware update will go on to a camera card and then we can update that directly. Now it's going to be a two step process and I suspect this is because this is the first time it's being done by a camera card. So we are going to uh, ver first uh, download the version 1.05 and then install that and then we'll return to this page and then grab the version 1.1 which is uh, listed here as the latest update. Now uh, once you've downloaded that first 1.05 version it'll be a data file and you need to transfer that to a memory card that could be a CF Express Type A or an SD card. Now I think the uh, Sony site does say put it into the M4 root folder but I had success just by dragging it directly or copying it directly to the memory card. Now I will warn you if you do download both of the, uh, the versions the 1.05 and the 1.1 you will encounter a problem here because both of these firmware upgrades have the same file name and so that will force your computer to rename the second download to version version 2. So we need to avoid this. So if you are going to download both versions now, drag the first version out of your downloads folder so you can then proceed to download the, the 1.1 version. Okay, so you have been warned there. That is perhaps the most uh, problematic area of this re-release of the 1.1 uh, upgrade. Once you've done that, you are going to put the memory card back in the camera, slot 1, and then go to the Setup menu, Setup option, and Version. It should list either 1.00 or 1.01 .01 as the current uh, version. You can then um, uh, press the Up on the D-pad and go to Software Update. The camera should then find your cam uh, camera update firmware. Now I will <laughs> encourage you to read um, that scrolling screen on the uh, on this page here. You will need to have um, a reasonably charged battery if you aren't going to uh, run into problems. Um, so and then you'll just hit the execute. Now the um, the screen will blank out and just the. Um, you'll just get a little red flashing light um, near the um, the C4 button as the camera is updating and apparently it will get quicker as it's nearing completion. I did find this firmware upgrade a little bit faster um, than having um, when I used to plug the camera into the computer for that firmware update. So if you've done that version and you're coming back to the uh, the help page on Sony's website, you can now download the latest version. This is the 1.1 version. This will outline what you're going to get with this firmware update. And basically I'll list them here now. It is going to include the M and S sizes for comp um, lossless compression RAW. You will also get the uh, option for shutter speed and ISO sensitivity settings dedicated for flash photography. This will um, require you to go into the menus and activate this if you want to basically have settings for ISO and shutter speed that are only used when um, uh, switching on your Sony flash. The third option is to, or third benefit, is to get uh, the option for touch shutter function. We have touch focus, we have touch tracking, now we'll be able to have touch shutter as well. Now we also have improved accuracy for IIF. Now I already find IIF uh, ex exceptionally accurate, but what a lot of people on the forums were uh, outlining was they wanted um, uh, Sony's uh, IIF feature to be less uh, um, attached to the eyelashes and push back a little bit to uh, the iris of the eye. So this will be um, especially noticed by people who are using very wide aperture lenses uh, who have moved into perhaps the closest 
is focusing distance of the lens. I don't think most people will notice a particular difference if that's not what you're currently doing. Now we also have the option to have the camera serial number to be recorded in the metadata in the movie files. Now this might be of use to people using uh, an A cam and a B cam when shooting movies and they want to identify uh, which clip has come from which camera. So uh, another improvement or benefit is the improved operab operability of Wi-Fi connections and uh, the final one here is to add a one minute setting to the power save by monitor and again we'll need to activate this in the menu. So I'll just outline those uh, these uh, benefits uh, briefly in the following pages. Okay, the first is the image quality settings. So we do have uh, lossless compression medium, lossless compression small added to the original lossless, lossless compression large. Now I will give you a word of warning here. I wouldn't uh, jump in and start using these straight away. I did notice my Lightroom uh, wasn't very happy with the lossless compression small. In fact, it wasn't that happy with the lossless compression medium as well. I got some very unusual colors. So we are going to have to wait a few weeks for um, Lightroom to recognize these new uh, raw um, compression formats. Now you could perhaps use Imaging Edge but I did notice Imaging Edge also crashing when I tried to use the lossless compression medium size as well. So don't jump straight into these. Give, uh, give these a, a couple of weeks uh, for the software to catch up. To outline what you are going to get with these um, small and medium RAWs is if you go into the small RAW lossless compression you're going to be uh, downsizing from 33 megapixels to 8.2. I think this is a little bit small for me. That 3504 pixels wide isn't quite up to a 4K resolution which is 3840 pixels wide. So I don't think I'll be jumping and using that small RAW but um, you may if you're, uh, you don't mind those smaller uh, file sizes. The medium RAW however may be of advantage. It's 14.15 megapixels so even shooting in this you are uh, going to give yourself some flexibility to crop in post and still output uh, a 4K image. So um, of course it's the same resolution if we're using APS-C mode um, uh, basically that is the same um, uh, pixel resolution. Uh, we are going to get a slight advantage over the megabyte size if we're using that uh, medium raw in uh, full frame mode there. Okay, so here is the um, the registered flash shooting settings. So you can go into the exposure color menu. So go exposure, flash, registered flash shooting set uh, or settings and then you'll be given the option to uh, limit the shutter speed range and also um, dial in an ISO, a specified ISO value as well. Now you don't really want to be doing this if you're just using flash uh, on location for fill flash in bright ambient light. Setting uh, a low shutter speed will basically disable high speed sync and uh, of course you're going to then start over exposing your images but this might be a feature that is very useful especially if you're using flash uh, maybe at night or in low light situations as the primary light source. And here is the touch shutter um, operation. So go again to the yellow setup menu, touch operation, touch function in shooting. And then you, as well as having the touch focus, touch tracking options, you'll now see the touch shutter. And this is basically where you can just touch the shutter to take, uh, sorry, touch the monitor to take an image. Here is the, um, the way we, we can write the serial number into the files. You will have to um, uh, move the subdial to movies and then go to um, uh, file, uh, write serial number. It will be off by default so you'll need to switch that on if this is a feature that is of interest to your particular workflow. 
now we're going to auto monitor off now the previous maximum um, uh, duration was 10 seconds before the uh, the monitor would switch off to save battery uh, but we're now uh, given the extra uh, one minute duration before the monitor um, basically powers down so this is different from the power save start time where we can have times longer than one minute and uh, my favorite um, time limit there is five minutes but I can now activate auto monitor off after one minute uh, with this new firmware upgrade okay so hopefully you've um, learned something from this little video tutorial if you're wanting ongoing support I do offer a support channel just go to www.patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor I do have ebooks Q&A forums member only seminars uh, plus the raw files that um, you can download for my camera and lens reviews plus I do um, uh, provide cam set files or camera setup files so you can set up your files exactly as outlined in these 500 page ebooks okay so I've covered quite a few of the ebooks right from the A7 III, A, uh, A7R3 right through to the current camera such as the Alpha 7 IV camera so hopefully uh, I can catch up with you on patreon.com um, now these uh, ebooks of course will allow you to set up um, the same way that I've set up my camera they're basically workflows to avoid ever missing shot because I shoot a broad range of subject matters from uh, human portraits animal portraits sports action landscapes etc and I can basically use the memories of the cameras to quickly shift between my favorite settings from one genre to another and uh, the ebook and the cam set files will allow you to do this and uh, basically um, increase your hit rate of successful shooting Okay, so there are no contracts or uh, commitments beyond that first month, and it is uh, just U uh, 10 US dollars uh, to join for one month's uh, membership there, and you can unsubscribe at any time. Okay, I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Imaging Ambassador.